Finally. The gate swung open, revolted by the thick scent of excrement in the chamber, Locklear hastened to the ladder affixed on the far wall and ascended uh, its filled slick ranks. Nice. Behind him, Gorath and Owen reluctantly did likewise, scaffing on the Noxos papers in the shaft. This is nothing, Locklear granted. Showing up against the uh, grating. All the windows in the palace are open right now. You ought to smell it in the winter. Ha! Huh. Darkness surrounded them as they slithered out of the privy. <laughs> there are only impressions of the chamber provided by the faint flicker of distant firelight. Ten yards before them, the hall joined with the elaborate con the colonnade stretching in either direction. Somehow I hadn't pictured my first visit uh, to Grondor like this oven side, falling blindly in the step behind Gorath and the Signior. What? You didn't like the romantic tour? Locklear chuckled. Not many people get to see that way into the palace. Drawing up short, Locklear's features brightened uh, as he as observed a pair of approaching figures lost in the conversation. self conscious of his bed racked condition, he straightened his uniform and cleaned his throat with, with, with a stentorian air. Greetings, Prince Arthur and Mr. Magic and Pug. As glad as I am at the sight of you safely home again, Locklear, I can say that my nose is well as well pleased. I thought we had broken you and Signor James clambering around in the sewers. You know, the Veil of O Happy's Highness, uh, we encountered a bit of trouble with the gates and so I chose the more expedient, though somewhat more disagreeable path. Uh, it uh, came to a happy end, however, James told us to send word that he is well and would, uh, would see you in the morning. Incurable several rats, all both of you, I shall have to order that each of you be accompanied by a score of bashing maidens to keep you presentable to, uh, enough for the court. Welcome home, Loki. Thank you. As happy as I am to, to be here, I'm afraid I come with the bad news from the Northlands. I accepted, expected as much, with the false night horse brawling my streets above and below. I can only mean the mortal are up to their own mischief. What do you know? Motion in Gorath Locklear introduced the former mortal chieftain with the wave. Solely Gorath lowered his hood. The gaps started reaction of those crowding the hall, helped to mask the stealthy entrance of the second mortal in the chamber. One, uh, this one armed with a long blow. Assassin, get down. Shadow of the Nighthawks. A whisper led him through madness. He stumbled forward with the unfamiliar feet, ten times too small to belong to a warrior. There were lights on, on the hills around him, fire's voices shouting through tambour of slossing hoofbeats. He reacted for this sword, uh, then remembered that he hadn't, hadn't a sword uh, that night. He had only been a boy of twelve midsummers, only a boy, and yet he led the ragged remains of his father's tribe. Who leads the mortal? The whispering voice insisted he, his head. I must see more. Years. A river of men cursed to, uh, through together in bleeding tide, and he was admitted them. Screams rang, a howling figure silhouetted himself against the moon, and brandished a bloody sword aloft. The wolfish figure screamed words of wrath and damnation as he cleaved his way through the through his mortal brothers. He was Delekan, a former general of Murmandamus, leader of the United Tribes of the Northlands, and he was the enemy, Gorath, 
the memory detonated in a million fading thoughts, each fleeing after uh, the faint echoes of the weak whisper. Before him now there was a new image, the face of a fair young girl, whose pale blue eyes watched him with a very interest. There were others too, all seated like himself around Polis, the console table, all studying, all dissecting, and Korat was the object of their scrutiny. I cannot find the truth, my prince, the tired girl whispered. Finally, quietly. His mind is chaotic. I find images, but I cannot hold them long enough to understand. Narrowing his dark eyes, Prince Arthur declared at Gorath. He hides his thoughts. Gorath is mortal, Book quickly interceded for his exhausted daughter. Even with Camina's ex- exceptional talent for sensing thoughts, his mind may have many, many innate psychic defenses. I may need uh, to send for one of my advanced students. No need to disturb studies, Master Magic and Bug. The model speaks truly. Conkill members exchanged surprised glances and then turned to their, their attention to the age Magician seated next to Bug. Lowering his eyes, the man made a dismissive gesture. Forgive me, I do not mean to presume, but I have looked into this, his mind as well. Makala continued. War in the kingdom would have many, would have many wide-ranging effects, not the least of which would lead to disruption of trade between our two worlds. My emperor Tsurarunanni would be most displeased if our rift-making secrets were seized by the barbarians in war- warfare. Korat Glover, clovered at the Tsurani Magican. Trading agreements notwithstanding, the murder watch your brother uh, borders, not hawk spy on your imperial cousins, and before uh, before the snows, there shall be an army come to the kingdom. Heed my words, Prince of Grondor, you must prepare for your troops. Anger flashed in the thunderheads of Arthur's eyes as he rose to his feet. F.U. <laughs> what I must uh, or must not uh, do will not be di- uh, dictated by a descendant mortal. If not the locklers good faith in you, I would have uh, had had your head staked on a pole and paraded up and down the low quarters of the Grondor once I saw you. Prince Arota isn't a good guy. <laughs> I have been tolerant by I listened to your vague specula- speculations ba- based on the incidental half heard conversations. But how I am to believe what you say? What evidence have you laid before this console to prove that Delegans intends to do? What evidence? I bear the humiliation of betraying my vow as a murderer and indignity of surrounding uh, to a sworn enemy. Why betray Delekan to the kingdom of the Isles? Of what benefit you to you is it, uh, is it to snare him? He's a leader in name only. However, Peter, in a draught of Delekan may, may be to your kith and kin to drink magician. His rule is black poison in the college of, of me and mine. Already he enslaves my cousins and rapes the land. Bloody his nose, Prince of Grondor, plant his swords and the Unifor of tribes will cast him down in wrath. Let him cross your northern border, however, ten other clans will join their strength to his and the, and the legacy of Murmandamus will be but a spark next to his glory. Where would you have me send my troops, if indeed he intends to strike against one of my or, or not the most possessions? With castle Saya shall I carry on for the attack? High castle, Iran Pass, Northwarden? If I am to fight the war by my teeth, tell me where would you have me fight it? Would, uh, would that I could tell you, Delekhan holds in a good confidence only a handful of covering dogs, and among them only a few are privy to his war plans. If private consuls are restricted to choice individuals, his advisors Narab and Nago, his mistress Liallan, his son Moreo Dulf, and Nighthawks. 
He keeps four company that leader of yours. Your Highness, if I give you, if you give my leave, I believe I can find the evidence of Delegant's intent. I will need someone to accompany me to Romney and supplies to for my journey and a small parcel of gold. Romney, Romney, what do you think you can find in provisional rivet town in the heart of the kingdom? I am to catch a bird in flight of late Delegant has emptied a good deal of treasury to revive uh, the services of the Nighthawks. In exchange, he has demanded tactical information about Kingdom's holdings. He's turned the guild of assassin into guild of spies. Well, that could work. Uh, only for a time, although his payments have been left in uh, various hidden locales, the messengers uh, were always sent to a rendezvous, rendezvous in Romney. If I go there, I might build may be able to intercept information concerning the forthcoming attack. Would such evidence suffice? Perhaps. Damn me, but I don't trust you, Korath. How do I know that this is, uh, isn't a plot of yours? We can wait the evidence to our heart's content, and your cousins could be slitting the throats of the my serfs as we sit uh, dawdling. Go to Romney, but you will provide your for yourself. If this is a part of a secret murder scheme, I'm not to look. I'm not to look the fool before the world bug. Unroll the map for me. The scroll smelt of dust. Scrolled in chicken scratches and spider tracks. Tiny lines staggered across the moth-eaten paper, indicating the paths that were ma major roads within the kingdom. Pointer in hand, Aruta bent over the map and pointed to a large black dot. We are here in Krondor. At dawn tomorrow you will leave through the main gate and re rendezvous with your escort, Ching Ching James. Anna, you might have preferred Lockler's company, but he has business elsewhere. So we are splitting the party. Uh, you will head to Romney. Providing one of the Delegant's assassin doesn't slit your throat first, you should reach the Urisin effort within the month. In Romney, you will join a special detachment of King Lerm's soldiers staying at the Black Sheep Tavern. Good name. They may be a service to you. Not in Korath to Tars, as listing studiously as the Prince revived, revived the details. If you find uh, evidence, I will act only when James has conveyed the uh, information to me. Is that clear? Only when I receive James' word. Until then, I wait. Understood, Kota replied. Good. Arutna replied, slapping the surface of the table with his palm. Looking around the console chamber, he noted the varied expression of all who sat around the map. Why don't you let Kamina and Makala show you around Krondor? I have few things I need to consider alone. Reading the offer as, as a polite, polite dismissal, the Worm Council, Worm Council members began to file out the door, most glad to be it on, on their feet again, following the grueling session. As book passed by, however, Arutas snagged his sleeve and drew him back to the table. If you don't mind, I would have your consul cousin, cousin Bog. Certainly, Bog replied, resuming his seat. I am, I am all attention. As I see it, Delecan could have only two potential targets for attack: the kingdom, High Castle, and North Warden. His forces at Sarsagot is 300 miles to the north. And I doubt he has the resources to defend a line that low. So an attack at Northwarden seems unlikely, leaving High Castle, which is viable alternative, but neither target seems to be have obvious goal. I know you are no field strategist and you hate to become involved in state matters, but I should like you to delay your return to your home at Stardock for a while. I feel ill at ease. You are not alone in that. I do have said something unusual, unusual in the air. 
but I would, wouldn't ascribe it to anything as dire as magic. More likely we suffer from bad soup. Feeling aside, I will call up militia reserves from Malax Cross, Dark Moon and Lighten, and join them to a detachment of the of the Grondorian Lancers just outside the Dim Wood. James will send word to me there. Uh, of uh, what of the garrison? It will remain in place. I have considered the option of a full push shout, and it seems unlikely. But I will give Delegan nothing. Our agreement remains. And now we wait. God help Korat if he betrays us to the mortal. The majesty of the palace was impressive, drawing appreciative glances of astonishment from the from all as they would through the door after the room of banquet halls, reception areas, and la at last colorfully decorated gymnasium. Before entering the throne chambers of the Prince of Cor Krondor. Katala. A pleasure to see you ja again, James. One is greater pleasure, my lady. Is book about. Yet you have just missed him. He and Makala went off to discuss magic someplace. And if I know my husband, that means that I won't see him for a few days. Even on holiday, he can't seem to take his mind away from the art for long. In many ways, he and Prince are much alike. Where's the Artha, anyway? Out with his twins and Princess Anita. It seems your faint luck has run thin today. Quite the contrary, for I still, still have your company, if I may have a moment. As much time as you need. What may I do for you? So when do I get... To me, the stunning daughter of yours. I have quite a bit about Kamina, but I have been too busy to make the time to meet her. I imagine you will see her as soon as I do. She is more than likely trailing Buck and Makala about the palace. Any opportunity to hear her father discuss magic and she is immediately at his side. Then too, I'm, it, it may be she is hiding away from Arthur's twins. She is not quite interested in boys yet. Thank you for following Evac. Hey, what's up? Well, best role-playing game ever is up. I know that quite few of the artificers in Stardock have been exploring their goods from the academy. Are there any good places to buy magical items near here? The most no but notable that's close uh, is a little place called Stardock Annex at the Abbey of Ishap at South. Officially, they have no ties with the academy, but there's not, not much we can do to keep them from using the name. There's also a fellow by the name of Dabeth, who buys from us, but he lives a long distance from here, out of uh, north in Romney, if I recall. What's your Discord? Uh, I can send my portfolio de there. Uh, please send your portfolio as a, as a uh, private message in a Twitch. I'll, I'll look into that. Okay, so in there and sewer. Rumors can cramp. Loki, Loki, Loki. Change mother to Loki to the senior's personal effects. Got in the disorganized heaps. You may be a fine swordsman, but your personal organization leaves uh, uh, quite a bit of uh, to be desired. So the, here's, here are our, our st st stuff. So we, we have two heroes in this chapter. James and Gorat apparently James has better better support now. And uh, we don't there's enough room. Chapter that changed. A shadow arose from a murky corner of the room. The figure advanced towards them. Gotak's pulse quickened for a moment, but he relaxed slightly as he uh, as he saw they were not about to be attacked. Open. It took uh, you too long, long enough. I was be beginning to think the mockers had you backed up again. Signor James, is everything all right? Square, suppose I ignored the fact that this trip uh, is a state secret. 
to which you are not to supposed to, supposed to be privy and that we are hurrying out of these sewers instead of leaving by the main gate at the proper time. How did you find out we were coming? Well, after Signor Leclerc dumped me off after we got here and told me I could get, go home, I got bored and decided to check out Krondor. Unfortunately, there's nothing much interesting going on here, so I decided I would come back to the palace. Uh, when I tried to pay a Kohtark an unexpected visit last night, but discovered that guards had been doubled with the orders that no one could see him. I might have fallen for it if I hadn't heard someone snoring in his cell. Gorat doesn't snore, I take it. Not a sound. When I realized that something was in the air, I went to my Locklear and discovered that he was mystery uh, absent. The mysteriously absent despite the, the tray of food delivered to his door just moments after I slipped away. Finally I came down to here and talked to Lim who told me that you had been down here earlier this morning. At that point I realized Arusa meant that meant to sleep the Korath out of Grondor for some reason. Are you sure you are not a thief by profession? I think Owen might be a thief in the profession as well. Are you think unerringly like a mocker I used to know? So are we ready? We should probably get moving. Where are we going anyway? You cannot accompany us Owen. Our mission is too much important. Quiet murder. I'll handle this. But I could jeopardize your mission. Who knows who might take me captive between here and Tiburn. If I go back to Krondor now, I'm accidentally talk to someone besides I'm, a, I'm from the eastern part of the kingdom. I know of the area. I might be able to help. <laughs> so first, first in first chapter, uh, uh, they are going to force Owen to come with them. And in second chapter, Owen is forcing them to take him with, with them. For the better or worse, you seem to de de determined to hitch your fate to a catastrophe. But if, uh, if you want to get yourself killed at a tender young age, who am I to naysay it? I used to pull the same stunts when Arusa Vista pulled out of Grondor. All right, then Squire, Squire, you can you can come along. But these are the ground rules. One, I'm in charge and you do whatever I say without question. Two, under no circumstances, you do you reveal anything about Korath or the, our mission to anyone? If someone some asks, we will continue that Signor Locklear suggested Korath is an elf, 30, and lastly, you don't wander off on your own. I don't care if you are wandering at the trees, you ask me first, is that, uh, is that uh, clear? Absolutely, whatever you say. Stop smiling. You are going to earn your keep. I, I know I'm going to regret this, but let's get moving. We have a long way to go and no time to get there. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to like put some money to the wet talkies and buy a new armor for open. So, Kor Korath has slightly worse armor, but not by much. And he's not getting any penalties for that. And these guys don't get any penalties for that, so... We are pretty much all set. Because 30% uh, damage reduction is, is pretty okay. So, let's uh, see our path. Uh, so, basically, we should go here. And it's it's matter of choice what what route we are going to take. So we are pushing here, doing quests here, coming back uh, around Ashromni. Here. I wonder if they are happy to see us. Kelan greeted them. You look, look a little more lively than, than the last time we met, James said. Have you gotten a bit of rest? The first I had for a while, the priest admitted, as suspected, the dreams plague us no more. I have even heard the healer is once more on his feet. Our high priestess is still 
tired as yet, but I assume she will be back on her duties no more. Things return to normal as uh, by the will of Sun. Grat his through to his teeth at the bowing, bowing beard priest. Like our priest, you credit those who watch and not those who do. Snapping abruptly upright, the hurt look glowered in Kilan's eyes. What do you mean? He means, Owen interjected, that he we found the person, person responsible for the dream sendings. There was a murder magician, and we took care of the problem. Sensing that the boy might go too far in his glory ho hounding, James seized the Owen's arm in a tight grip. Please forgive my companions for the outburst. They have been through uh, on the road quite some times and have forget forgotten their manners. No apologies necessary, the priest said, removing James' grip from Owen's arm. They are quite proper in asking acknowledgement. How may I reward you? Uh, do you have any spells I might learn? Owen interjected. Seeing the anger flaring in the senior eyes, he quickly amended. If, there's other, if there are other magicians like them, uh, it might be prudent for us to be better prepared for, to meet their, uh, their challenge. Kellan nodded. I have one such, such spell I can teach you that will uh, allow you to protect, uh, protect yourselves. Uh, interesting. If the others will stay here. Fuming named Jodet his reluctant ascent, ascent taking um, a seat next to a re reflection pool motion for Korat to do likewise. Right, let's suppose sit down and prepare for the long wait. After several hours, Owen returned with a light smile flickering his lips. But in intervening times, James' anger had not uh, abated. Thanking the priest as gracefully as he could, James turned and stormed from the temple's courtyard, his charges, flow, charges following quickly behind him. We could actually teleport to some, some place if we wanted. Or we can just walk up here. Uh, I think I'm going to walk uh, because we can we can train our guys on the way and we'll let's see if if we got something. Train catch. Uh, give the sun Hoko, Hoko seven skin of the. I I think he learned some some spells. Then, actually, I was hoping you might be able to dig up something of an <laughs> scroll, perhaps. Uh, Skyfire. I actually learned this already. One of the souvenirs. So I don't want to find it. No, thank you. Nighthawks. Would you have anything up in the Abbey about the Guild of Death? I as, re as I recall from when I visited your Abbey years ago, your collection books were quite, was quite extensive. I wanted to find out how it is that some of them became black slayers. Uh, no need to search the vault's money of their worship, uh, Kahuli, who occasionally will grant them a near deathless state in, in exchange for total dedication to the God of Revenge. It took us a long time to learn the spells that keep the night up from rising from death. Nice! Is there, there is a spell we thought you had hacked the body up and burned it to bits. An unpleasant solution and time consuming. After the great rising was over, the mortar went home. We were able to work with the Prince of Limskar Kragma to create a spell to keep night hacks from becoming a black slayer. Or to keep a black slayer down when he was slain. If you would like, I can probably dig up the spell uh, in, in the uh, vaults. Are you interested? There will be a hundred sovereign fee. Yes, of course. Considering uh, I'm a 
might be running into cult of death soon, I think it would be a wise investment. I will be quick as possible, please wait here. They waited. Uh, when at last it seemed the priest was never going to return, he appeared wading down the hillside. Uh, a bare, very burned parchment missing stuff beneath one of his arms. Collecting the money owned for uh, owned him from James, he silly handed over the scroll. Ah, oh no, that's a zombie, right? And he can cast the final rest, right? So this is where we are going to need the... Okay, he's, he's, he's just a jumpy. So. And beast. Jimmy doesn't have a really good uh, chance to hit for some reason. But, uh, then again, he he's a, he's a thief. He was a thief. So that kind of makes sense to check how much the temple asks for the teleportation. Oops. Yeah, the temple of, the temple of Silban um, wasn't my my choice, but anyway, we can we can continue the looking looking around here here. Oh, almost tumbled on one. Okay, up and down they go, but never. Uh, is it there? Yeah, it's there. Oh, poison, poison arrows, by the way. I'm requesting that as many mortal soldiers as possible be built in position of Town of Tannerus immediately. We are anticipating arrival of Cortez and have a hardest to kill him. Make certain he dies uh, if he die attempts to move down the eastern roads. Yeah, well, thanks for warning. Also, what Isaac appears. Square James, have you traveled all the way to Amaski once more? That was 11 years ago. You were an imposter and we were facing threats against the life of the prince. Without knowing you, who you really were, I couldn't consider, con couldn't conscience delay suppressing you within the striking range of Arvita and Anita. No matter, as fortunate I, you would have it, I have fallen on the perhaps better times than you might imagine. I conduct my own business. Go about my own affairs without the concern of the state. Without the concern of, or in spite of their concern, Isaac, I have heard grim rumors of you. 
if there are rumors of me, they are spread by the, my competitors. I assume the noble senior that I am entirely at at the disposal of the kingdom. How I I be of the service to you? Okay. He had some crutches. Apparently. And that guy had moved a bit to a second road. Okay, there's a there's a wizard, wizard and something else. And that's a spider. Funny thing, they actually made like uh, sculpted these these uh, monsters. Okay, you can't cast spells now. And he got that it is a bit slow. Oh no. Jimmy is fast. Okay, he, he can defend. Well, well, that that guy is running. At least Owen gets a uh, training for the for the blocking skill. Ah, he got away. Damn. Jimmy, Jimmy kind of messed up. Ouch. We're keeping defense. Jimmy can't get here. Kohtarik is like, come on guys. Okay, blind, blind, blind all of your eyes. Okay, now he's dead. Too bad when, when we start to go the way. Okay, spiders don't have anything. Yep. They don't. And he has silver thorn, because why not? He's and check the yeah there's the body check the box while we are at it we should be right on top of it I hear all right here no okay so if it's someone who can it's 77 percent I think Jimmy should be able to do this and Redweed, Redweed Brew. Imp improving the short sword play. Jimmy, I have something for you. That's a lot of enemies.
dreadful. He's drinking and Owen is actually making the wizard go blind. Korath Kotar starts killing. Skyfire is pretty, pretty uh, surgical spell. Okay, apparently James is now hitting. And once more, get blind. Uh, uh, 73% yeah much 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 better okay he's down maybe I'm just rolling bad okay Owen, Owen can rest Um, how many? I wonder how many turns this is going to affect that drink to the Jimmy. I mean, okay, Jimmy's okay, probably he's he's getting bonuses to attack, but not defense. Okay, Jimmy got his first kill or something. Okay, second kill. That's that's fine. Uh, it wasn't faced who wrote that if you are not cheating you are not trying enough uh, but that's that sounds appropriate to this situation Party's abilities have increased okay Jim's got Jim got strength which is okay and he's getting more experience stealth weapon craft armor craft mr. scrap. James Angry shoved, uh, shoved the, open the door to Jeremy's house. We shall have a word with you, scribe. This bad. You suspected that box was tricks to explode. That's why it was the only one who you hadn't surveyed. Believe what you like, but no, I had no idea it was trapped. James glared at the bald-headed man who returned to their guest with contempt. We should take it out of your hide. But provided you hold up your end of bargain, I suppose we'll let you be. As we have more important matters to end to. What? More important matter than important than threatening scribes? Jeremy snapped, picking up the book and thrusting it into Jem's hands. I'll not have you accusing me of being shyster on top of any other crimes you care to manufacture about me. Get out of here. That word they left slamming the door behind them. So we got a book. Thitsworth's birds migrations. James granted the volume a lead and weight on in his hands, considering the difficulty he had getting through even the thinniest writing works presented to him. He was astonished that any writer would actually have the stamina to fill the thousand or more pages stitched between the book's leather covers. So let's see what happens. Many times James flipped back the cover of the book to reaffirm that the title had some way been connected to the migration of birds, while the author had begun a discussion of, on winged wildlife. He had quickly meandered in the discussion of the famed battles of the mid chemia continued the reiteration of various battle songs diverted to rant about the prices uh, of ale in the kingdom's taverns tangentially laminated about the plight of magicians and then ended the humorous anecdote about his mother-in-law having considered while of Faramos formula 
to old slung a journey warrior in a bar barbo pro. Interesting. Quite interesting book. So first time we read a book, it's going to oh, all right. It's going to give us huge amount of uh, huge amount of experience. Damn. Yeah, luckily you are getting enough experience to these guys, so that you don't need to grind so much in a, in a later phases of the game. And so the grind at the start of the game is just for the or for the sake of uh, enabling the adventuring later. But then again, if this game actually uses used beta testing while it was developed, that's like something that wasn't widely used back back in the day. So that and that made it near near uh, flawless or rather near um, nearly bug free. Friendly woman answered the knock. She introduced herself, Larissa Halfgate, daughter of Flender Halfgate. After a short conversation, she further revealed she was on her own and was having more than a share of trouble with the rusty barn door. I would ever be so ever so grateful if you could help me open it, she said with a honest smile. Jim said they would try to look at the matter. She refreshed the water process as they left. So barn door, where's the barn door? Is there another building somewhere? So I suppose it's 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 behind the house. That, that, that that's that's a well. Ah that's a barn. Door is jammed. Strength potion. Okay, we we uh, got the got the door open. Okay, it's open. Come on, uh, Laris greeted them with a warm smile. Come in, come in, she said. Have you solved my problem? Yes. It uh, could be hardly co compared to slanging dragons. Slaving dragons, but it was no easy task, I assure you. The hinges apparently became quite rusty and seized up. Thank you so much. I just wish um, I had some way to uh, pay you. She said a slight scowl, then she brightened. You know, there are a few items uh, uh, that my sisters left behind when they moved a year ago. And they never came back to retrieve them. They are just taking up space here. And perhaps they will do some... You, do you some good? Let me see if we can find it. That won't be James began, but woman had already retreated to far corner of the house. When she returned, she handed them tuning fork, she shell, and the herbal bag. They can thanks and sit between farewell. Uh, okay. Check your accents. So we got the tuning fork. The crevasse was occupied. Standing away from the clutch of bushes, Square Philip impaled, impaled them with a flush, flashed clear where he refastened the kinches of these pants. What? Deciding that his dignity was not irreversibly beyond repair, he politely tucked the tail in his shirt while he addressed Owen. Not that I'm displeased to see you, Owen, but you picked an odd moment to show up. Sorry about that. I didn't recognize you from behind, and when we saw you duck to this cup hole, they were we paying suspicious. We had few problems with the bandits on roads, and we have killed like a hundred of them. I've narrowly avoided some myself. Fortunately, they didn't pay much attention to me. I don't think Father would have been too pleased 
uh, if I ended up ransomed. Did you ever find the chest you were looking for? A bit of disappointed soon I had to lead up. I found it was empty. Shouldn't have expected that someone else would get there before me. Likely your bandit friends plundered it. Should uncle I head up? <laughs> Basically it probably was a box that we found. Should uncle and I head up on the east, we might stop by the high castle for a while and see the sights. Uh, not much to look at, it's typical border town and the only thing interested there is the castle itself. I understand that the Prince Aruta paid some for the newer fortification there after the Rift War, but all I wasn't much impressed with the, it. However, I have admit that they had nice armor there. State keeps some of the prettiest swords I've ever seen in stock. Interesting. Now we are going to, ta to the temple, because temples apparently have interesting stuff to say. Dala. James asked to see the High Priestess, again. The attendant priest according then rattled like a great knight, brought sword belted in his hip and his head covered in chain link underneath his sword. So apparently this temple is taking defense quite seriously. They passed the other priests in the temple who were similarly attired. The whole three leads order seemed to gear up for a great battle. Nice. Maybe they can do some nice enhancements. Hope blessings rather. When their last they entered small room, the burly priest nodded towards the large paper triptych which stood there near the wall. Hypers Teresa will see you after she has attended to sick one. I will return to you after business is finished. Some whimper came from the behind the shadowed screen, but was quickly shushed by the high priestess. After a few moments, slightly rope figure moved out of behind the screen, a ball of cruel cuts between her small hands. High priestess. Venture. Seeing change surprised look the woman smiled. Let me guess, I'm not as you expected. Many of my faith will think I have talons, ace, eyes of fire and sword seated my hip. Moving to a small table, she set aside her wooden bowl and spoon, snatching up the towel to wipe the broth from the hats. People misinterpret Dallas role in the balance of things. While she guards those in battle, she also guards travelers as they sleep, sleep and look after those uh, in need. At the moment I would value far more the pack of grain than I would all the martial skill in the world. So... Okay, she wants the grain. James blinked, why is that high priestess? Our stores are nearly empty. She replied, what food we haven't given to the poor has been stolen by the thieves who have been taken advantage of generosity. If we can't get any grain to be milled soon, we will have to run away children who have no other source of food. Uh, we might be able to bring you rations. The high priestess shook her head. You can store rations, not for long. We need a pack of grain. Yes, okay, pack, pack. In X hands, I think Dala might best over your boon, though I can presume the goddess favor without consultation. I would speak to you more, but I have others I need to see today. I understand, James Lynn replied. Thank you for your time. All right, so quest to get grain. And let's bless something. 105 sovereigns. Not, not much. So, let's check. Plus 15% to hit. This is best blessing you can get in this game. Let's try parting. Okay, he's, he's definitely getting better. Oh no, there's five of them! Oh.
yeah, that would be like next level bad, bad thing. If we had to like fight five of them at the same time. Ah, trap. Okay. This object will be pushed. Nasty if not enough. Like dogs shouting at the moon, moon or armor worm by the trees. Like the sharply spoken command or a tiny vessel lump on the sea. Bark. Yeah, good dogs bark and its armor burned by the trees. Or sharply spoken command. Enhanced armor. Nice. Don't need it, but it's still kind of nice. Let's see what else is there. Okay, two more. You can see it in the winter, never in summer, even though it is as light as a feather, the might is more mortal, but the north can't hold it for long. Uh, uh, not the snowflake. Hold the hold the breath. I wonder who who thought of this. So what's in the third box? Every creature in the world has seen it, but their dying day they never see the same one again. Yesterday, <laughs> oh, my trouble seems so far away. Uh, oh, new weapon, new weapon. So it's it's made better with the frost. Definitely swing twenty nine plus strength. Actually this might be a bit better weapon for the for the for the Korath. That way should be High Castle. I guess I do you think we should play a visit? This looks nice. Tavern Shop. The battle works. Okay, they have everything nice here. But no stats. Oh, well, you can basically uh, judge from the price how good, good the weapon will be. There, and let's enter. A soldier let them in. Following the swirling tail of the man's white tabard, they were escorted in the well-appointed uh, study with the large windows overlooking the marshalling yard of the castle. Seated in a castman, casement just below with a large man was watching their act activities below with an absurd fascination, occasionally scribbling down the notes on a piece of Persian on the sun. 
Baron Kevin, this man asked to be shown in the shoulder and nose. Shall I leave you? The red haired man nodded, motioning them to take seats a little more conventional than one he currently occupied. What can I do for you, gentlemen? I am afraid Baron Torbell isn't here. The squad all right. We were looking for insights of a possible attack on High Castle since James started. Have you seen anything unusual recently? Have I? Kevin sat a bit laugh with blue eyes twinkling. I see usually things, uh, usual things every day. You don't work for Frontier Fort and lead a boring life, you know. After relating several amusing stories, the Baron mentioned that an important bridge had collapsed to the north of Cutter's Gap, possibly strangling several goblins of the kingdom side, the High Castle Gorge. They are likely to begin attacking traveling merchants for food if you are heading that direction. I'd advise you watching watching my step and I, if I were you and if you happen to stumble across these goblins, I appreciate if you brought us back some back some evidence that they were around. We might be passing that way. We don't exactly have in itinerary. If we don't know where we are going, then people who are trying to silence Gorath people won't be know either. I understand, the Baron said, favoring Gorath with the doubtful walk. Be careful in your journeys. Kept there a couple of days. Okay, parting works now. James Cockner greeted with a giggle. The door was pulled open cautiously on the inside by the woman. They seemed to be very ner nervous and giggled frequently as they introduced themselves. And Gina Halfgate, this is my sister Andrea. Uh, the eldest began. Shifting alert losses continued. I hope you haven't come to hear us play. play. My sister and I used to play with our vi violins for the all on lonely soldiers passing through. But like we haven't had many quests and our instruments have gotten out of tune. Say, would you have, uh, do you have a tuning work? Yes, we do. If you had tuning work, uh, we would be ever so grateful. Seeming chance to up to a repression, she said, we don't have much money, but we could offer a, but a soldier left behind some leather leggings we have no use for. Would you, how soldier can you leave a uh, leather leggings away? Okay. I don't want to know. Will you trade us tuning fork for some leather leggings? Yes. James agreed to the trade. He put the silver curling tuning fork on his back, offered it to sisters who did that exactly, tittered excitedly. To her they retreated into a different part of the small house and returned a few minutes later with a leather pair pile of leggings. A trade completed them, thanked them for the hospitality and left. Pretty woman answered the door. After the appropriate introduction, she allowed them to entry her small, well-decorated home. They discovered her name was Sarah Halfgate. There's lots of Halfgates here. And that her husband was a trader away from business. I've come looking for a pack of grain. Perhaps you can help us, inquired James. The woman seemed hesitant. Versus, I have several packs of grain here, but my husband would be very angry if I found them missing upon his return. I could perhaps spare a single pack. If you could help me find a present for the Midsummer Festival. I'm not sure we could help, said James. Uh, he's been talking about wanting a pair of leather leggings. If you could find such a thing, I will give you a bag of grain. Do we have a deal? Yes. Oh, I'm so glad we could strike a deal, said Sarah. My husband will be thrilled with his uh, this his gift. She went on the corner of the room and pulled a bag of grain from the stack. Gorth joined her hair. Let me help you with that. Hey, he's a gentleman. She thanked him and followed him back to the others, where the exchange was made. The Kikni said goodbye and she told them to be careful as they walked out of the door and returned on to the road. Found the crane. Thanks for your help. Holy quest for Crane. James mentioned motions for help. Seeing that they were burdened with a heavy pack of Crane, the burly beast named Wapon hurried to their assistance, taking the weight upon 
his own shoulder. The high priestess will be most pleased to see you, the priest grinned. Do you remember the way he, her private card and noting James turned through the sim, sm, small art, holding up the woven card curtain for Owen and Gorat to pass through. Together they entered Risa's contemplation glade. Glancing upon the way she was trading a hand through the through consentual waves of the pool, she smiled warmly at them. You have brought the crane. How did you know? James asked. A little started by Shirley, 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 in the high priestess' green eyes. They are kids and an adventist of living the presence of a goddess, she laughed. I knew that this morning when I awoke that I would be seeing you. I also know that she will bestow upon one of you uh, the boon of her blessing. Blessing, James asked intriguingly. Standing to assume a priest last posture, she folded her hands uh, in front of her stomach to the one you choose, she shall, for the last of his life, watch over him to protect him from harm. This is Dallas Will. Uh, yeah, uh, I <laughs> misclicked, but Owen is okay. Walking to Owen, she placed her hands on his head, her eyes flashing deep green as she intoned the words of prayer to her goddess. As soon as she uh, began to speak, the character of the room seemed to change, as if the walls were Fat, before, fat being rendered in a hot cauldron. Dala, she cried out, protection goddess, sealed of the weak, watcher of the hearth and threshold. We seek your touch. This one who stands before you, your servant has acted with a good faith in the name of thy faithful. As high priestess of your order, I ask you to bestow upon him your boon. Shuddering, Owen gasped. Uh, uh, as a light flashed around him, seemingly emanating from within his flesh. The priestess seemed likewise shocked to see he recovered from this effect far more quickly. Slowly, the effects of the flash faded and room began to resume its more normal appearance. Standing away from Owen, Risa rubbed her eyes with the heels of her hands. It's done, she said. And Cenomosan, you manuk. Go, may go now, Dala has blessed you, Owen. Remember this always. And now we have that often defense ability has increased. Nice. 77. Well, of course. So we are going to leave some gifts, gifts to the <laughs> lock layer. Unfortunately, we need to use the sever access. Home again. Have you taken anything of the men who were posing as smokers? They're not much for carrying treasure, but yeah, I've been found a few nights beats. Tumbled a corpse found near the sea gate just this morning. If the price is right, I might be interested in buying the booty from you. That's so. Well then, my price is 100 gold. 100 gold, you said they don't care anything of any value. Seems it's value to you, and I say it's worth 100 souvenirs. It's a worth of pence deal? Yes. It's a robbery, but I will take it. Good then, I'll get the shadow for you. We got to check out a few things other than dollars. Okay, I wonder what, what what he got. I'm not interested in your uh, difficulties with the guild of these under Crondor. It was responsibility to deal with them, and your special training should give you more than adequate advance over those common thieves. You are located the amulet of upright man and the idol of Lazar and load them aboard the Nightcrawler immediately. We have pressing business to the Serpentine clients in Sunset Alice. Eee! And I don't believe they will be potent while I tell them about the incompetence of my hands, the Crawler. Interesting. Idol of Lazar. Where do you, what do you know about the object called the Idol of Lazar? Some sort of kid story in it? About the visit of the, what gives the power of the goddess of death, eh, or such silliness. Why would anyone be looking at it from in Crondor? Part of the story I remember. It was supposed to be have a, hidden away some deep and secret part of the sewers. 
by discussion, but something like that. But it's not real. I can guarantee that if it existed, the mockers would have found found it by now. Okay, it seems like we need to go to the lower part of the uh, sewer at some point. 